about time we did some food in here. Um, <laughs> who says you need bread to make a good sandwich? Ryan Salter, co-founder and chief product officer of Breadless in Detroit, is in the Fox 2 kitchen showing us how to cut those carbs without cutting the taste. And I wish today was one of those days that you had <laughs> smell o vision because it smells incredible. It really does. So, I mean, it, it's more than just eating things wrapped in lettuce. I mean, you said that you can have some low-carb options, uh, and, and that's what you're making up now. Yeah, so this is actually one of our bowls that we just launch is called the South by 313 bowl. So this is with some brown rice, black beans, got some roasted halal chicken, caramelized onions, roasted peppers. I'm gonna add a little cheese to it, some Monterey Jack and white cheddar, and we're gonna finish it off with a dollop of avocado and our cilantro avocado sauce. I would think this would be incredibly popular. It is. Like the bowls are so popular these days for people to come and grab and they're easy to eat, take with you. Oh yeah, so this one is very portable. You can grab it in a bowl, take it to lunch. Uh, we have a lot of construction workers coming right now in the summertime. Mm -hmm. They want something that's, you know, a little healthy, but at the same time, you know, some flavor involved in it. So this is the perfect option for them. So let me ask you a question. Just uh, if people don't know the concept of breadless, what was it meant to be simply to lower carbs or was it just uh, because obviously rice has some carbs in it? I mean, yes. this is not a zero <laughs> carb meal. No, so we always try to say low carb. You yeah. know, we're a low yeah. carb, gluten free restaurant. Right. So our whole premise is we are an eatery that focuses on delicious sandwiches with dark leafy greens. So we have okay. dino kale, Swiss chard, collard greens, and turnip greens that we use for the base of our sandwiches. And we also make cool salads, warm bowls. Um, we have vegan, vegetarian, and halal options as well. Nice. I know a lot of people who've eaten here say, you know, when when they come in and they have one of these, say, wraps here, mm -hmm. um, that they don't even miss the bread because there's so much flavor in the sandwiches. Yes. What are some of your favorite? Uh, and, are, and do you call them wraps or sandwiches? We call them sandwiches. Okay. You know, I don't think you need bread to call it a sandwich. Okay. So my favorite one right here is the Cloud Nine Pastrami. I'm a born and bred New this Yorker. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> settle down. Scott, I'm taking that one. <laughs> yeah. I think he claimed it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I love a nice pastrami. Yeah, sandwich. that sounds delicious. But my favorite vegan one is our spicy chickpea. So we actually have our own chickpea uh, with falafel, spicy aioli, Arabic pickles, pickled turnips. Oh man, it's, it's so good. You, you have a really interesting story, by the way, because I mean, you, East Coast guy, yes. uh, grew up in Harlem, right? <laughs> yes. And then you, you 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 come here for automotive, but you're doing this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, how did that happen? Well, you know, I was always involved in food, even in New York City. I started a pop-up called The Bachelor Chef and kind of grew my brand. I uh, started working with, uh, going to culinary school during that time and working with different people like in started go down to a restaurant called Angel of Harlem. Right. Oh. But during that time, I was still involved in automotive, so I got moved out here to Detroit. Like what in automotive? What? Uh, so I was in digital marketing. So okay. my job was actually all the applications for Chrysler before oh my, I, my moved here. Okay, yes. so you had a connection. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. So I actually stayed here for a year and a half and decided, you know what, I'm gonna focus on my passion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when Breadless came about, about three years ago, my co-founder, Mark, called me. He told me all the difficulties he had with eating bread and being yeah. low carb. Sure. And so I said, let's talk about it. So we came up with certain concepts, That's the Cloud9 right. Pastrami, was one of them, as well as the uh, bird is the word. And then we started coming up with the, doing pop-ups, going to local gyms, um, different neighborhoods, and partnering with different people. And then we decided, hey, let's do a brick and mortar. So last year, around March, we decided to open our first location. Yeah. Uh, been very successful. Um, the community loves it. They're happy. Our tagline is eat good, feel good. And I, I hope that. you <laughs> can see I'm that. I'm going to try to bite this in just a second, but I did want to ask you, like, I, I think... Being able to access this makes it so much easier to go without bread. Where are you located, first of all, and can you build one next to my house is the question. No. Well, it depends where you live. No. <laughs> so we're actually located on 2760 East Larned, mm -hmm. so down the street from the Rivertown Mire, and we're opening our second location pretty soon in Rochester Hills, next to Panera oh. Bread, across from Rochester Hills High School. Oh, guess who lives in Rochester Hills? Oh, oh you do. Not Amy. Not there. Oh my goodness, he just took, the, oh my goodness, the pastrami <laughs> one, are you going to try it? pull it together. It looks so yeah. good. Look at it. that's, it's, so it's fantastic. Is that, is that wrapped in kale? That is wrapped in collard greens. Collard greens. So that's okay. our spicy brown mustard. We have our Reuben dressings, black pepper pastrami, sweet and butter, butter and butter pickles. Roma tomatoes and well, right on 3D almost. And a little bit of coleslaw as well. Yeah, let's, like let's witness, are you going to try it or no? Well, I'm going to go. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll have the bowl and <laughs> you can have that, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Uh, listen, it's great seeing you. Good luck on the new location. Thank you. Come back and see us. Bring us food anytime. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> and we'll come see you.